Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People. And we are at episode four, the last episode of our four types of intelligence discussions. Uh, I'm joined again by Veloshni, by uh, Dylan and by Guy to give our perspectives. And today, this is something I should be able to contribute a lot to. It's gut feel. Uh, my gut has certainly uh, increased during lockdown. So in theory, I should be more intelligent. Let's get uh, a perspective from... So when it comes to gut feel, I um, I found out only recently reading a book that we do have neurons in the stomach lining and in the uh, large intestines, uh, and those are brain cells. Neurons are brain cells. So a lot of people get a gut feel. A lot of people. In fact, I'd suggest that almost everybody has the sensation and unfortunately the way we're conditioned into right and wrong and the, this or this i think that the ambiguity of a sensation where you just don't feel or you do feel a certain way i think that is a a skill that can be practiced and regained yeah, um, good point, Jonathan, because, yeah, a skill that, you know, very interesting because, uh, and I didn't know half of our brain was in our stomach, but uh, that uh, that makes sense to me. Um, but the, at the end of the day, the, you know, the gut feel to me for the business owner is, and it combines all the time with your thinking because it all starts here at the end of the day, and I suppose it goes through your body mm. somehow, is, is saying to yourself, uh, you get good gut feel and you get indifferent gut feel, as you mentioned, Jonathan, and how to, how to tie that up. And uh, I, I had a gut feel last year on something and shot off in a direction and it shot me in the foot. And so I realized it was the wrong gut feel. So, yeah, it's this gut feel is, uh, it's there because everyone talks about it. So <laughs> have we made it bigger than what it really is? But we all say, have you got the gut feel? Do you, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, very how much How much do you trust yourself having had that situation where it didn't work out the way you wanted? Uh, very good point. It's, On a scale of 0 to 10, still go for like 7 out of 10? Uh, lots of people pick 7 out of 10. So do they maybe, really? Yeah, if you ever say, click, you know, but anyway, that's another yeah, topic. Another, uh, another topic. Maybe 8 out of 10. Maybe 8 out of 10, eight. okay. And uh, Volushni, how do you use your, because uh, I don't want to be um, stereotypical, but it is often said that women have a much more sensory based interpretation of the world. Yeah. So, so firstly, your, in terms of gut feel and going with that, that is really alive and kicking the whole gut feel thing. Um, it is also about having a healthy gut <laughs> so that you get a healthy, <laughs> a healthy <laughs> sensation. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so guys take notes there. So deli uh, guy, that must have been your problem. <laughs> um, but, but on a serious note, guys, um, the, uh, with, with relationships and with, you know, with clients and um, so this is more interpersonal relationships and this exists in the business world as well because we talk to people on a personal level. Mm. We deal with them on a, on a personal level and it is about sometimes you're just having a discussion, maybe someone with prolonged um, absenteeism, you're having a discussion with him and or her and they could give you a story as to why, um, what were their reasons for their prolonged absenteeism. Mm. But uh, you kind of already get that feel whether they are talking the truth or not. And there is a part of you that can empathize, et cetera, but it is just about being in tune with yourself. Mm. Dylan, are you in tune with yourself? Uh, look, this this is very interesting <laughs> for me because I often go on what, what, what what, what my gut tells me, it takes a very big part in a lot of my decisions. Um, the, I think the art there is to understand what your gut is telling you because mm. you can sometimes read it very long, wrong because it's not black and white. It's not like a list of 
do's and don'ts or good and bad or you know and your emotions can pay a, like common sense like uh, anything else your emotions can play a big big part in your gut feel as well mm. so you know i would say it's, it's learning to understand your gut feel and learning how to interpret it that that would be a really really um a, a good uh, intelligence to have because it, then you'd know when to trust it or, or not to trust it um you know and i honestly i'm a strong believer in gut feel i've gone a lot on gut feel and many times that my gut has said maybe not and i've gone with it at normally 99% of the time, my gut was actually right. Mm. Now, you see, this to me, um, it seems an opportunity because <laughs> why are you smiling so broadly, guys? There's something that you know that I don't. <laughs> no, missed opportunity, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is, isn't it? Because basically, everyone has the sensation. So it would be possible to, through mindful thinking, become aware of that sensation more, more uh, consciously. And I bet you could measure something which would talk about this array of grey areas as to whether it's a good idea or a bad idea or a good person or a bad person. There's a book, I will have to end after this, but there's a book called Power Versus Force. And it's about kinesthesiology. And basically, if you ask someone a yes or no question, they hold their hand out in front of them and you ask them a yes or no question and they lie or tell you the wrong answer, their arm gets weak when you press on it. If they're telling the truth, the arm stays strong. And that's whether or not they know the answer to the question. I know, I know, it blew me away. <laughs> no, no, I can't use gut feel for that. That's it. <laughs> yeah. um, I would just like to say that, you know, I think very important what we've spoken over the four, the four types of intelligence is, you know, out of all of these, you, as intelligent people, or best intelligence you can make is that you don't know everything, mm. that you don't have all the answers. Mm. And I think any one to four of these is, is question, question, get outside input. Don't always believe you know the true answers because I think true intelligence is known, well, not true intelligence, but a very strong point of intelligence is known that you don't know everything. Someone can always teach you something. That's very profound. Indeed, I believe, although I'm not sure, but someone, uh, I think it's the definition of philosophy is knowing we know nothing, but I could be wrong. Probably am. So Sometimes you've got to hold your guns. Yeah, yeah. Basically, any any Latin pedants, if you want to leave comments in the below the video, let me know what the score is on that. Right then, uh, <laughs> it's it's been a joy as always. Never a, never a chore, always a joy. Running out of time. Uh, everyone say goodbye, um, and we'll yeah, woo, woo, yeah, yeah, woo. <laughs> and and Mr. Spock, yeah, Mr. Spock as well. Yeah. Live long and prosper. <laughs> So I don't know, you uh, we raised this in conversation, but you're aware now that there are brain cells in our stomach lining and um, the term gut feel has always been a sort of uh, a metaphor, but you do a significant degree of your thinking with, you, with your digestive tract. It's as simple as that. Anyway, we'll be back with uh, other conversations. Uh, we're always looking for contributors, so please uh, drop me a note, drop me a direct message, and we'll make it happen. All right, you have a good day, be good, and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do, which doesn't really stop you doing much. <laughs>